Hi, this is Karame on my Warlords of Draenor Beta Paladin PMet. Um, I have been doing a lot more mythic raid testing as of late, and I've also been doing a lot more reading since I've finally um, gotten time to do that, and have come across some new like information about paladins, holy paladins right now. So I'd like to discuss that. Um, my last video discussed the uh, Tower of Radiance change that occurred and how healing your beacon target or targets um, no longer generates holy power. Instead, it returns mana. So I will show you that now. I'm using flash of light and instead I get mana and not holy power. So what this means is that holy power is going to be a lot harder for us to come by. In my last video I said that holy radiance spam was sustainable, but this is not really correct. Um, what happened was... I was testing on a level 90 character that I transferred over, and so my trinkets and stuff scaled up. I don't remember if I had tested on this level 100 at that time, but basically, um, in beta testing, if you don't know, if you're using an amp trinket and it gets scaled up, you get 20% of the uh, amp trinket's effect instead of like 8%, so you're getting like 20% boosted stats, uh, which is ridiculous, but it works. Um, but yeah, so, and also the attempts are probably short, but as it turns out, um, this change is much bigger than I gave it credit for. And so I'm going to talk a little about how to respond to it properly right now. Uh, Sacred Shield is much stronger because unlike Eternal Flame, it does not require holy power to use. It has three charges on it, and you can have several out at a time, um, so that's pretty cool. You put them on the tanks and, you know, whoever else might need one, and yeah, um... This is currently the strongest spell of that tier. It is stronger than Eternal Flame. The Eternal Flame isn't bad. It's just that we don't really have reliable holy power generators. We do have our enhanced holy shock back, which allows us to get a double holy shock in. So that can get us holy power more quickly. But it's like only a 10% proc off of single target heals, flash of light, and holy light. It's not even proccing right now. But what I would like to address is currently we are quite good tank healers. Um, our healing style right now, since we get mana return from using flash of light on the beacon target, flash of light is actually an extremely effective and if an efficient healing spell. Um, it doesn't, like, cost much. And, yeah. So, basically right now, we're using Sacred Shield on the tanks or whoever, using Flash of Light filler on, on one of the beacon targets. If we need to spot heal, we can throw Beacon of Faith on someone and use flash of light on them um and if you get an infusion proc you can use that to holy light a non-beacon target um and then when you do get enough holy power you use that on light of dawn so it's a pretty different healing like situation than we have on live I think it's kind of clunky, but it reminds me more of how Holy Paladins used to be. I just feel like they kind of, they don't have it quite right. It seems kind of weird, but 
I would still play the class like this. I know a lot of people are saying they wouldn't. Basically, right now, Holy Paladins aren't great, but they do tank heal quite well. So, since tank damage is actually substantial, you can um, still do well on the meters. So, yeah. Um, but, what else? Um, yeah. Risto Druids are still the strongest on beta by a long shot. Then Holy Priests. Then I'd say Holy Paladins are probably third just because of our like abilities and the fact that Mistweavers and Disc Priests are so much lower. And then Shamans are just kind of like struggling a bit because of spread healing situations. But the spread healing problem is affecting pretty much everyone, I would say, except for maybe Holy Priests and Rest of Druids as much. But yeah, um, this is kind of like a return to the single target healing situation. And it's not terrible, um, but it's very weird. So, yeah. Um, oh, the stat priorities currently, um, crit is said to be the best for us, then haste, then mastery, I believe, and haste is better if you're using sacred shield, because sacred shield scales with haste, so, yeah, um, Crit and Haste are quite good for us currently. Um, but yeah. It's never really good to do what I just did, which is Holy Lighting the Beacon target. At least not anymore. That was the playstyle, but now it's not. Um, because you get more healing just using it on somebody else. But with the flash of light spam, it's always on someone who has the beacon or beacon of faith. Um, it seems like beacon of faith is still our go-to talent for that tier. And uh, I just got enhanced holy shock. I made this weak aura for it. There is currently no indicator in the game that you have enhanced holy shock. So that's kind of weird but I made an indicator for it, but yeah. Um, so that's pretty much how it is right now. And I will try to keep these videos coming as changes are released. And I hope this has been informative. I've been reading a lot and doing a lot more research about Holy Paladins within the past week and, you know, trying to stay up on what the current theory craft is. Um, yeah, unfortunately our holy power spenders are not going to be used as often as they have been in the past because holy radiant spam is just not really sustainable. You need almost 8,000 spirit to be able to use holy radiance as a rotational holy power generator like holy radiance holy radiance holy shock and then you know your spender um, in beta testing we have a little over a thousand spirit so I don't see us getting to almost 8,000 spirit um, especially since they're trying to not you know scale things ridiculously like they have in the past um, but we'll see what happens um, so that's the situation currently, and I hope this has been informative. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.